Lesson 6.7, Addition and Subtraction Word Problems. We use addition to put sets together to find how many in all. We use subtraction to find how many are left when some are taken away. In addition, when we add, we put numbers together. And the number in all is on the right side of the equation. It's over here. We know it has a plus sign because we're adding. In subtraction, when we take a number apart or some go away, it has a minus sign and the number in all is on the left. It's the first number. So when we add, the number in all is over here. When we subtract and take away, the number in all is over here. Bill has four red cubes he gets one blue cube. How many cubes does Bill have in all? We can write an addition sentence to show the numbers in each set with a plus and an is equal to symbol. There are four red and one blue. That's four red. We write the four plus one blue. We can count how many in all to know what four plus one is equal to. One, two, three, four, five. And we can write the number in all. Four plus one is equal to five. Bill gives back the blue cube. So how many cubes does Bill have now? We can cross out one blue cube that he had to show that he gave it back. We can write a subtraction sentence with a minus and an is equal to symbol. There are one, two, three, four, five in all. So the number in all goes over here because we're doing subtraction with a minus and we're taking away one. We write the one here. This is for the place, the number we write that's the amount going away. Then we can count how many are not crossed out. One, two, three, four. We can write the four for how many are left. Five minus one is equal to four. After Bill gave one away, he now has four cubes. Tala has four red cubes. One, two, three, four. She finds three blue cubes. How many cubes does she have in all? We can write an addition sentence to show the number of cubes in the red set and the number of cubes in the blue set with a plus symbol and an is equal to symbol. She has four red. We write the four. She has three blue. We can count all the cubes to know what four plus three is equal to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. She has seven cubes now. If we know there are four cubes, we can start counting from four and count on four, five, six, seven. Tala gives the three blue cubes to her sister. So how many cubes does Tala have now? She had seven, four, five, six, seven. She had seven in all. We can cross off the cubes that she gave to her sister, the three blue ones. So we are taking away three. So we're going to write that here. And we can count how many are left. One, two, three, four. She has four cubes now. She gave the three to her sister. 
we write a subtraction sentence with a minus and an is equal to symbol and 7 minus 3 is equal to 4. We can cross out the three blue cubes and count what's left to find what 7 minus 3 is equal to. So remember, when we're adding and we have a plus sign, the number in all is over here. And when we're subtracting and we have a minus sign, the number in all is over here. It's first. We're finished with chapter 6 about subtraction. We're going to move on to chapter 7 and learn about the numbers 11 through 19. I hope you'll join me, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.